He is an Emmy Award-winning producer at KXAS NBC5 and the Lone Star Emmy's Educational Foundation Scholarship Chair. And she has more than 50 years of service to the TV industry and is an elite member of the Lone Star Emmy's Gold Circle. Please welcome Reginald Hardwick and Bobby Wygant. <laughs> Well, good evening, everyone. Uh, Bobby and I have the honor of being the only presenters who are not presenting a statue. We are giving away cash. Does that sound good? Um, earlier, the Lone Star Emmy chapter awarded $14,000 earlier this year in scholarships, and we're helping the next generation of journalists and, and television professionals out there. And tonight, we inaugurate a new scholarship by paying tribute to a Lone Star legend. Bobby. Harold Taft and I started at uh, what was then WBAP, now KXAS-TV, Channel 5 in Fort Worth, Dallas. We started in 1948, actually when the station began. I was two weeks ahead of Harold Taft, but I know because we were very good friends as well as, as associates during all those years that Harold was with us, and I know that something very dear to Harold was education. He absolutely from the get-go insisted that our meteorologists be meteorologists with graduate degrees and uh, a practice which we still carry on to this very day. Harold was all about education so the fact that a scholarship is to be in his name there is nothing but nothing that would please him more. And now we'd like to pay tribute to Harold and give you more information about the scholarship. Good evening. I'm David Finfrock, Chief Meteorologist at KXAS in Dallas-Fort Worth. I wish I could be there with you in Houston. That's where I grew up. But when you all are meeting for the Lone Star Emmys, I'll be way out in West Texas repairing hiking trails in the Guadalupe Mountains National Park. Just last month, KXAS celebrated its 60th anniversary by honoring pioneers like legendary meteorologist Harold Taft. As an Army Air Corps meteorologist, Harold Taft helped predict the weather for the armed services in both World War II and in Korea. And then, in 1949, he became one of the first in the nation to broadcast the weather on TV. Here is your staff meteorologist, Harold Taft. Good evening, folks. Under clear skies, the present temperature is 82 degrees. For the next 42 years, Harold insisted that all Channel 5 forecasters have Bachelor of Science degrees in meteorology. He covered tornadoes, snowstorms, drought, and even testified that wind shear caused the 1985 crash of Delta Flight 191 at DFW Airport. The detailed explanations went beyond TV. We get a long lecture on stratocumulus nimbuli or whatever high pressure zones and a much longer explanation than we needed when all I really wanted to know was do I need a sweater today or not? Harold shared with his viewers his fight with cancer that eventually took his life in 1991. Protect your family with the NBC5 Weather Alert Radio. This year, a portion of our sales of weather radios at Walgreens helped raise almost $70,000 for a scholarship endowment in Harold's name. Jennifer Lopez, now part of the most powerful weather team in North Texas. That money will help ensure there are always qualified and diverse meteorologists, something Harold would have appreciated. I think he would be very proud that this was going on and that his name was attached to it and that it was going to help future meteorologists. Seven meteorologists from academia, government, and TV stations across Texas helped me select tonight's inaugural scholarship winner. The Lone Star Emmy Educational Foundation will send the scholarship check directly to the winner's school. And now, the moment we've waited for. The very first Harold Taft scholarship will go to two recipients. Brian Haynes, a junior at Texas A&M who aspires to be a National Weather Service meteorologist, and Jorge Torres, a senior at Texas A&M who aspires to be a bilingual broadcast meteorologist. Both will receive $1,000. Congratulations.
And before, I want to tell you, I did talk to Brian earlier this week, and I think um, he dropped the phone or his ring gauge. When he, he was so excited about this. But we're not here tonight, but they're both very excited about receiving this money. And uh, we have some special acknowledgments. Janice Spooner Taft, uh, Harold's daughter, is in the audience tonight. You saw her in the piece. And Denise Buckner, his granddaughter, is here as well. Thank you for joining us tonight. And good night.